You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> That was, a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Put my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth I'm going to okay <laughs> oh, I can, oh okay that was a greatest night in the history of television okay <laughs> okay <laughs> oh wow wow <laughs> now Jada Pinkett Smith has alopecia, which means that she has lost some hair, which means that she cut her hair really close. Apparently, Chris Rock did not know that, and he makes some sort of joke about how she looks like she should star in G.I. Jane 2. Okay, that's pretty light stuff. As someone who gets roasted regularly on the internet, yeah, there, there, there are more than a few Ben Shapiro jokes out there, okay, guys? And I find most of them actually pretty funny. And by the way, there are a bunch of jokes out there about my wife, because I'm a public figure. And my wife honestly finds them pretty funny most of the time. But even if we don't find them funny, who cares? That's called being a public figure. And this is like the mildest joke anyone has ever told about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, considering they have an open marriage. And it is well known that Will, that Will Smith, let's just say that other dudes and Jada Pinkett has been a thing for a very long time within this marriage, like very publicly so. So this is the mildest joke anyone has ever told about Jada Pinkett Smith. And what, what what's funny about this actually is that, as you will see, after Chris Rock tells this joke, they cut to Will Smith, he's laughing. And then he looks over at Jada Pinkett and she's mad. And then the unthinkable occurs. Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> see, he's laughing, he's laughing. And then, and then she's mad. She's mad, you can see she's mad. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> Uh-oh. And he thinks he's going to come up there and stage something with him? Oh. And instead, Will Smith wow. just launches into him and just cracks Will him across Smith the just face. Will Smith out of me. Keep Nick. my wife's name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. You don't see that on Animal Planet. So first of all, um, Chris Rock is more of a man for taking that slap than Will Smith is for throwing it. Right? Like you're on stage in front of several million people and somebody smacks you upside the head and you just take it like that. The moral standards of Hollywood are weird. Will Smith is fine with other dudes and his wife having sex. He is not fine with someone making a joke about his wife at the Oscars. They've been public figures for about as long as I've been alive. Now, what was even weirder, and I, I won't say it's weird because it actually does say something about where we are in the country. A huge number of people on Twitter came out from the left and were defending Will Smith because after all, it was a bad joke. It was a mean joke. How dare he tell a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith? She has alopecia. He shouldn't tell that joke. Okay, you might not like the joke. You might think that the joke is bad. We have a general rule in this country that when somebody makes a joke you don't like, you don't get to smack them upside the head. Will Smith left Hollywood and everyone watching at home stunned when he smacked Chris Rock at the Oscars on Sunday night. While presenting the award for best documentary, Chris seemed to make fun of Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head, saying, Jada, I love ya, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see ya. Will initially laughed at the joke, but Jada, who suffers from autoimmune disorder alopecia and has been open about her hair struggles, wasn't amused. Moments later, Will walked on stage and slapped Chris across the face. A source in the room told people that everyone was shocked and you could hear a pin drop. Some attendees wondered if the moment was a skit. It wasn't. After taking his seat again, Will yelled, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. 
fast forward to when Will won Best Actor for King Richard, he tearfully compared himself to his character, a fierce defender of his family, and said that love will make you do crazy things. He also apologized to the Academy and other nominees, but not Chris. After the heated exchange, the Smith's son Jaden tweeted, and that's how we do it. Will also posted an Instagram with his wife saying he and Jada got all dressed up to choose chaos. And a source told people that while the stars are longtime friends, Will was also upset about another jab Chris made while hosting the Oscars back in 2016 about Jada not being invited to the show. Meanwhile, the Academy issued a statement denouncing violence of any form, and the LAPD confirmed that Chris declined to file a police report. For the latest, head over to People.com.